so let's take another problem i think they are going to bit uh, on moderate side enb can finish a job in 30 and 60 days respectively a alone begins the work but due to ill health work at the same efficiency as that of b it means that uh, he is also doing with the same efficiency that uh, b is doing and discontinues after 12 days later on b and c together finish the job in 36 days okay so a alone begins the work uh, let's make a diagram as i already told you let's say that uh, in the first uh, 12 days a is working but with the efficiency of b okay and later on b and c finish the job in 36 days so 36 days are there and b and c completed the job so as we did previously let's complete the equation 12 days but a is doing with the efficiency of b so it is 1 by b plus 36 times of 1 upon b plus 1 upon c and that is equals to 1 let's put up the values of b and c so 12 into b is going to be 1 by 60 plus 36 into 1 upon b is what b is what 60 plus c is going to be a known value so let's equate so equals to c <clears throat> so this is 1 by 60 plus 1 by c is equals to 1 let's calculate it but uh, make sure that you are not deducting this 12 by 60 because i think this is the important part if you start to deduct this then it will really make calculation a bit lengthy so 36 into 1 upon 60 plus 1 upon c is equals to 1 minus 12 by 60 else minus 1 so 60 60 minus 12 is going to be 48 by 60 now 48 by 60 so let's divide this 36 straight away over there so this is 36 12 3 is a 36 12 4 is a 48 now this is 4 and this is 15 so 15 into 3 is going to be 1 by 45 so now equation is clear actually that 1 by 60 plus 1 by c is equals to 1 by 45 so next what we need to do just calculation is there but if you directed that 60 then it's really going to be make it a bit lengthy so now 1 by c is equals to what 1 by 45 minus 1 by 60 lcm is what 180 so 45 4 is a 63 is a so this is 1 by 180 so in how many days c is going to complete this work so c is going to complete this work in how many days so it is 180 days okay and i think the problem was also that that in how many days c is going to complete the work the ratio of work done by a b and c okay so we need to find out this ratio so what how to find a ratio as we did in easier part also that ratio is going to be one upon and what is the efficiency of a so now problem is that that a what amount of work is done by a so a did what 12 by 160 work is done by a so this is the amount done by a b has done what 36 upon 60 and c is what 36 upon 180 okay so what will be the answer actually it is a bit good question so this is what this is going to be 12 by uh, 60 ratio 36 by what is b it is also c and 36 by 180 that is done by c so this is 60 ones are 60 60 ones are 60 so that is 3 this is going to be what 12 so your answer is going to be 12 ones are 12 12 3 is a 36 and again 12 ones are 1 so your answer is going to be 1 is to 3 is to 1 okay so it would be your answer okay so let's come to the next problem four masons kalash balram lalit and ganesh finished constructing a well in 24 8 16 and 12 days respectively to construct a well all four are employed and decided to work alternatively one after another only one mason working a day who should start the work so that he should be the one to finish the job okay so i think this is a good question 
because who should start the work i think the person who is having a good capacity should start the work because uh, once he start the work after that the later on person who should have the uh, efficiency is less than the compare to the previous one so i think first of all we should make a packet that in packet uh, if they work four days then how many work will be completed so let's start one upon eight plus one upon twelve plus one upon sixteen plus one upon twenty four so let's take the lcm of these numbers so i think lcm is going to be two three is a six eight six of forty eight so i think forty eight should be the option so eight six of forty eight twelve four is a forty eight sixteen three is a forty eight and twenty four two is a forty eight six plus four is ten ten plus three is twelve uh, ten plus three is thirteen plus two is what fifteen so fifteen by forty eight work should be completed in four days now uh, what amount of work we can complete in these cycles fifteen by forty eight work done in four days so we can come multiply by what how many slots we can arrange with this uh, particular arrangement so i think 4 into 1 yes that is okay but we make sure that this work should not be greater than 1 because you cannot do uh, work that should be a more than 1 so how many slots we can multiply by this to keep this particular number less than 1 so i think 4 3 or 12 would be the ninth answer uh, correct answer so 15 by 3 is going to be 40 by 48 If you start with four into four, then what will happen? Fifteen fours are twenty. Fourteen, fifteen fours are sixty. Actually, sixty by forty-eight is going to be the wrong because it is greater than one. So make sure in these type of problems, the answer should be less than or equals to one. Okay, so forty by by forty-eight is amount of work which can be done in by all of them by using a particular cycle. Means doesn't matter then who is doing the work on a particular day. Once he can do, once he can do, once he can do, once he can do. But then the cycle of four, anyone can complete a work. But the problem arises when the work was left, and the person who is getting started, I think he should be efficient to do the rest of the work. Forty by forty-five, forty-eight is the completed work. So, what amount of work is left? One by minus forty by forty-eight is going to be what? Three by forty-eight. Three by forty-eight is what? One by sixteen. So one by sixteen is amount of work which is left, and who is the particular person who can do this? So I think uh, one by eight can do is because the efficiency of he can do a work in eight days. So I think the work which is complete, which is getting complete in sixteen days, so he can also do this. After that, I think twelve days person also can do this. Sixteen days person also can do this. So I think these are the three person. If the work is left, they can complete the work. so who is the culprit or who is the person who is less efficient actually kalash kalash can complete a work in 24 days so he cannot complete the work which is getting completed in 60 days so i think kalash is the person who cannot complete the work okay okay fine so let's come to the next question Two taps A and B can fill a tank in 20 and 30 minutes respectively. However, A and B are functioning in rotation minute after minute, starting with A, and the third tap C functioning throughout till the tank gets filled in eight minutes. How much time does C alone take to fill the same tank? Okay, actually this is an important question. These type of questions uh, are mostly uh, asked. They are continuously asking in the exam, so I think you should make in mind that. these question should be done i will also tell you the alternative way to complete this question so let's make a diagram let's say the system is there a is also working there b is also working there and c is also working there a and b are functioning in rotation minute after minute uh, with the a and tap third tap c functioning throughout the thing till the tanks get filled in 8 minute okay so i think c worked in 8 minutes because they are working alternatively so i think this is going to be a is going to work for 4 minute and b is also going to work for 4 minutes so let's make a equation 4 minute is a also work there and 4 minute is also work by b and c worked throughout the way and their work was completed so i think this is another easy question so 20 and 30 so let's put 
the values of a and b so this is 1 upon 20 plus 1 upon 30 plus 8 by c is equals to 1 20 and 30 is getting lcm as a 60 so 23 is a 32 is a 60 into 4 this is 15 so 3 plus 2 is 5 5 3 is also 15 so what we will get it is only 1 by 3 plus 8 by c is equals to 1 so 8 by c is going to be 1 minus 1 by 3 so it is 2 by 3 2 fours are 8 so value of c is going to be what 12 minutes so in 12 minutes alone c can completely fill the tank okay okay so let's come to the next problem 10 men working together can complete a job in six days okay so i think this is a problem of what it is a problem of mdh so man into days into hours when people are working in a group okay so 10 men working together can complete a job in six days so in six days they can complete a work so what amount of work should be there so your work is going to be the work is going to be what amount so it is none other than 10 into 6 so 60 unit of a work is totally there now starting the with 10 men on a first day one man discontinues every subsequent day assuming then the man left alone in the end is not allowed to discontinue till the he finishes the job how many days are required in all to finish the entire job so this is another good question let's say total amount of work is what it is 60 now starting with the first day how many people or how many men were there so 10 into 1 then one person was left so next day it is 9 into 1 next day it is 8 into 1 next day it is 7 into 1 and then so on till 1 into 1 but after that this person have to complete this work till the work was completed okay so 1 into 1 is going on so we need to find out that how many days are required this person to complete this particular work now 10 into 1 is what 10 now 9 into 1 is what 9 8 into 1 is what 8 and till 1 into 1 is what 1 so that is a work which can be completed in a pattern and after that each day 1 into 1 1 unit of a work will be completed so what amount of work is left according to that you have to uh, knew that you have to know that how many days are required to complete the work okay so i think we should sum up this so rest of the work which is left uh, which is subtracted from 60 so that will should be done by the last person now there is a formula 10 plus 9 plus 8 so i think what should be the formula 1 plus 2 plus 3 till n is given by n into n plus 1 by 2 so this is what n into n plus 1 by 2 there's another thing you can do biologically like uh, 10 people are there 10 plus 1 is what 11 okay 9 before that what should be there 2 so 9 plus 2 is what 11 so each time when you are getting your or you are adding first and last thing you will getting the value as a 11 and how many pairs will be there 10 triples are there and each are clubbing <coughs> so i think 10 divided by 2 how many people will be there so 55 is going to be your answer so 55 unit of a work should be completed by in this manner so what amount of work or unit of work is left one five unit is left if five unit is left and what should be this pattern or what should be the uh, working unit in a single day so he is working only one unit in a single day so by five unit he need day, he need days as in five days so 10 days required over there five days required over there so what should be your answer so answer should be 15 days okay okay let's come to the next problem supply of water lasts for 200 days if 10 liter water leaks off six of every day but supply lasts only for 180 days if 16 liters of water leak off every day if the daily consumption is constant then the total quantity of water in supply is okay 
so let's make a system which is working like this let's say this is your water tank and uh, 200 days if 10 liter water leaks off 10 liter water leaks off every day okay so let's say that you are using particular u amount of water every day so in 200 days you are going to use 200 part of u each and every day 10 liter water is leaking so i think what amount of water should be leaked 200 days 10 liter water is leaking so 2000 liter of water is get leaked in this particular 200 days so i think we can say that what is the capacity of uh, this uh, system so capacity of system is 200 times of u plus 2000 liters so that is a capacity of this particular system now there is another pattern what that uh, supply only lasts for 180 days so i think capacity in this pattern is going to be again you are using u liter water every day so in 180 days you are going to use this 180 times of u and 60 liter waters leak off every day so 16 into 180 is you are going to be your leaked water now this is system this is also system so what we should do so we should just equate them so let's write down and equate the both the equations so 200 u plus 2000 liter is equals to 100 of u plus 16 into 180 now what we have to do we have to find out this value of uh, what u but before that there is some short trick or you can use some logical part Let's take 20 common from out of each and everything. So you can do this very easily actually. Or you can also take 200 common. So let's take 200 common actually. If 200 is common, I'm expecting that your maths is because this is a moderate part. So we can do this. U plus, this is only 10 liter. Now 200 cannot be taken from this part because 200 you can't take from this part. So I think we can take only what? 20 can be taken from this one so if you take 20 so this is 100 this is only 20 actually so this is 10 u plus 100 liter if you also take 20 from both of them so 20 should be there so 9 u 20 you can't take so one it from 180 you can take 20 comma so this is 180 divided by 20 so this is 9 so 16 9 is 144 so these are the some tricks which will always reduce your calculation so now it is what 10 u plus 100 liter is equals to 9 u plus 144 now from transposition 9, 10 u minus 9 u is what simply u 144 100 so 144 minus 100 is what 44 liter so what is the utility you are having as a 144 liter now What we want to get the capacity then the total quantity of water in supplies okay so let's put up the value or whatever you want i think this is a simple part so we should put the value over there so this is what 200 into 44 plus 2000 liter so this is what 8800 plus 2000 liter so the answer is going to be 10800 liter this particular capacities will be there so I think these type of questions where calculation is uh, bit on higher part, if you start to do this, I think you will also learn. But in this type of question, when MDH is getting applied, so make sure that uh, common part is always going to be there. Okay.